Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clabo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet for episode 26. So in the last episode, we took on our first Titan, and we beat it with relative ease, and we went ahead and got Dash for Coridon. So for that Titan, we then got the Herba Mystica, which was the sweet one, and then we were able to eat give our sandwich to Coridon and he then learned Dash which was fantastic. So in today's episode we are going to be actually taking on Team Star. So currently we are talking with Cassiopeia and we're just about to meet a new figure. I wonder whom this might be. Huh? Who are you? The name's Clive, is it? Oh, how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your Hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Clubbo? Um, we're not pals. Ha ha ha, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. If it's not if it's not something you can join in for fun. Well I I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Hmm. Suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I've heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I will say for now. I see, in that case, I won't press you any further. Good, now back to business. Let's talk to Operation Starfall. Yes, and what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of team and put of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of that, of those, is the, the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base for Clebo. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows what that we're looking out for them, or looking for them. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles, what happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them? That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the bus. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Clubbo. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the bus out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star, and that means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely yet. Or just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Clebo's support. You're a cautious one. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Go get him, Clubber. Alright. So, it kind of looks like direct to Clavel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh. Okay. So, we are going to be taking on this star base. But before we can do that, we've got to 
take on this grunt in front of the door. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base is for Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? All right, I'm not turning back. Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Well, please do. I have a lot of snot in me right now. Because I'm poorly. But then again, you're not going to beat the snot out of me, so... I think I'll be beating the snot out of you. But I'll just blow my nose and take all the snot out of me. So, yeah, it's all good. So I'm putting this hound door to sleep. So I can switch out to Quaxwell, because I forgot to switch him back in. Houndor is fast asleep. Yes, it is. Makes my job a little bit easier. While we use then an aqua and whack him down. Whack him down? Ugh, that's a weird phrase. Take him down. I defended myself alright, but it wasn't enough. No, it clearly wasn't. You weren't that strong, mate, if I'm honest. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Call me Clubbo. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Hey, Clubbo. Cassiopeia told me the scope to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come and give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Foo, foo, foo. What? Foo, foo. Is that you, Carlos? Foo. I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is... Carlos, the Char Cadet. Or Charlos. Foom. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Whoa. Ah, oh, Carlos, wait. He ran off. You don't say. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Clevo. Alright then, Clive. Or direct Clavel. Roll to 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 to. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the base is Team Star's fire crew. The Cheetah Squad. Their boss, Mela, or Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way through her methods. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela, or Mela, or Mela, keep her cool. She could come out. And fight you, ring the bell on the gates when you're ready. Time to wipe the Sheedless squad off the map. Okie dokie. But before we do that, we're going to have our first picnic. So let's see what picnics are all about. So we can enjoy a picnic with our Pokemon. So we're going to go and potentially make ourselves a little sandwich here. How to make sandwiches. So you basically add all the ingredients, put the ingredients on, and then you make your lovely little sandwich. And depending on what power you find, you'll be able to create stuff. 
So I think we go for a pickle sandwich. Why just a pickle sandwich? I'm not sure, but that's the one that we go for. Not that any of the meal powers are going to really help us. Because we needed, really needed a water fighting power. That would have helped us better. But we wanted to give this a go for the sake of it. So let's have ourselves a pickle sandwich then. So we have three pickles we've got to put on the sandwich. So there's one. Two. And three. Rather plain sandwich, if I must say. And then we put the bread on top, and the bread kind of was a failure. And then we put the thing inside it as well. So it's not the uh, prettiest of sandwiches. But it's a sandwich nonetheless. So hopefully we'll get better at sandwich making as we go further into the game. The amount of ham sandwiches I've probably made at this point, I should be good at making sandwiches. I'm still not that good, but... Hey-ho. In real life, I can make a sandwich. I mean, it's one of the easiest things to do, is to make a sandwich. You just need a piece of bread, and you just need to put something on it. And then you've got a sandwich. If you want to put another piece of bread on top of it, then you can, or you can just close it and have one piece of bread to make a sandwich. It doesn't matter. But either way, we have now just eaten a pickle sandwich. So now it looks like we are going to go and interact with our Pokemon. Who are absolutely loving us at the moment. And we're going to give our Pokemon a wash as well. Because they might be a bit dirty. So we've put loads of suds on him. On our Bonsley. And now we're going to get it all off. And there we go. Happy days. Bonsley is all happy and clean. Now doing this you uh, can actually potentially get Pokemon eggs. Uh, Pokemon eggs are absolutely random to get. Meal powers can actually help with spawning eggs as well, which is always great. And yeah, it could be absolutely random what egg you get. To this day, I've still not had an egg. If you have received an egg from your Pokemon, please let me know down below in the comments what you got. We are just going to go around and wash all of our Pokemon. And then we will take on this base and defeat the fire base, hopefully nice and easy. now all clean as well so with Crocodile because he is actually well she is weak against water we don't want to put water all over her because otherwise we may extinguish her fire so we only do it on the legs because that's the only place that she wants to be cleaned so certain Pokemon will only will only have suds and water put on certain points of them they won't have it all over them because well yeah it makes sense in the lore of Pokemon for that to happen so I think at this point I'm possibly trying to pick some other Pokemon I can take with me, which turns out to be a rather silly idea. Because they're not really going to help me at all, but oh well. Now with these bases, there is a specific thing we have to do. We've got to challenge Team Star with the first three Pokemon in our party. So what's going to happen is we have to do a load of auto battles. We have up to three Pokemon that we have to send out to do these auto battles. And basically, yeah, use them to... I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm, I'm absolutely failing 
in life on how to move my Pokemon, even though it literally said change the order underneath the summary. I wasn't reading it properly, because I'm just a donut. But we're now taking two level sixes into a place that's way higher than level six. Granted, they are water types, so they should do some okay damage, but no. Quaxwell is the one that does the damage, so. This is called a Star Barrage, so we have to send out our Pokemon and do auto battles, and we have to take out 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes. Once we defeat those 30 Pokemon, we can then take on Mela, the. or Mela, or Mela, however you want to pronounce it. And we will take her on. So, heads up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our wanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honour you with an appearance. So that's the plan. We've got to take on 30 Pokemon. We've got to defeat 30 Pokemon using auto battles before the time runs out. We can recover our Pokemon using the vending machines around as well. So if we need to do that, we can do that as well. But right now, Quaxwell's going to go out and he's just going to kick some butt. And just send out Azuril. He does a little bit of decent damage. So each time you've used one, once they reset, you have to go in the order as they come. So Quaxwell's the next one that can come back out. Quaxwell should just absolutely wreck these two over here, which he does. Very nicely done. And then we're now going to bring Azarel out. I think she, he gets almost defeated there. And now Azarel's done. So we can't use Azarel anymore. Also, Psyduck is now done. So we can't use Psyduck anymore. But it means we just use Quaxwell pretty much for the rest of this. Now we could go, as I say, up to a vending machine and heal these two Pokemon back up. But all I need is Quaxwell anyway to uh, wreck these guys, so probably no point me doing that. Now that I've learned this, hopefully over the next other what the other star battles that we end up doing, these other star raids we end up doing, whatever you want to call them. Star barrages as Clive like to call it. We do do a little bit better and take Pokemon that are a little bit more higher level or a little bit better prepared for these battles. But we're already halfway through. We're already, we've still got eight minutes left and we're already halfway through the Pokemon that we need to take on. So 15 more to go. There's another three Numbles to take on here. And there's one of those vending machines that you can actually use to heal up your Pokemon. I choose not to. Got three hound doors over here to take on as well. So we'll just go wreck those day their days as well. And then find some more Pokemon. So we've got nine more to take on. So there's four hound doors down here. Two more to do, there's three over here, so quacks well to save the day. And wreck these three Pokemon's days. So there's our 30 done. So we've got 31 for good measure. Our defences are breached, it's all up to the boss now. Aha! So now we're gonna take on Boss Mela. She is. Boss of Team Star's Fire Crew, Mela. So, you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you'd do something so stupid, and I don't care. If you challenged us, so we'll beat you down, that's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. 
Okay. Well, she's a fighter, clearly. You are challenged by Baylor and Team Star. So, Quaxwell should make easy work of this, but we shall see. So Torkoal's drought is going to mean that there's no water around. Aquacutter is super effective, but didn't do that much damage, which is a bit of a shame. Thought it would do a lot more than it did. Green wheel, not very effective. That was for the rest of the Sheeta squad. So we're just going to keep with that cutter. Keep slowly trickling this HP down. Because it trickles my HP down in the process. this thing. Slowly but surely we're going to get his HP down. He's getting my HP down as well, which is not always good. Try a water gun for a good measure, see whether that does any more damage. Does about the same amount. Flame will nearly wreck our day. And we get burnt, which is not helpful. And I think actually that burn then makes us faint. Oh, nearly does. So right now, I'm like, oh dear, I need to heal. So let's get a hyper potion out and heal Quaxwell. So Quaxwell restores his HP. Well, we restored his HP with that, which is fabulous. Now, this Torkoal is a bit of an annoying thing, but the sunlight has now faded. So hopefully now our attack is going to wreck its day. It's another water gun. And there we go, that is now Torkoal down. Took the mick a little bit, but we got him down in the end. So now it's Revav Room, which is this big car thing. I ain't burnt to a crisp just yet. So now we're going to take on Shida Starmobile. It's level 26. It's over heat, which is not very effective. Which drops its special attack. We use Water Gun, which does some okay damage. But now Revive Room speed is now increased. So I try myself with a bit of an Aqua Cutter as it uses Screech on me, which defense then is harshly fallen. So that does mean it can now do more damage to me, which is great. This burn is just wrecking me. Another speed boost, which isn't helpful. I think at this point I then use burn heal to heal up burn. Get rid of that burn heal. Well, get rid of that burn from me so it stops passively doing damage to me. Use the blazing talk, which almost wrecks Quaxwell's day. Quaxwell had managed to tough it out. So it's very kind of him. Because of our uh, bond, he's able to survive that attack. So hyper potion, get him healed back up. And then we'll continue this battle along the way. Uh, that blazing talk is doing quite a bit of damage to us now, and his speed just keeps going up, which isn't helpful. So at this point, I'm ready to terrorize my Pokémon because I am tired of this thing, and I need to do way more damage than I'm currently doing. So it's time to get this terrestrialized quite well. Use his special terraform to do way more damage. And hopefully wreck this guy's day. Drops my health defense even further, which is not great. But Akakota should do some good damage here. Which it does. Fabulous. Reprobrew gets another speed boost. Nearly one bombs us there. Boom. 
but our super effective attack then absolutely wrecked this Reverend Room's day. And that is this one now defeated. So that is Mela done. And that is one star boss down out of five. So a big round of applause to us. Woohoo! Ugh. Is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough power to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. I suppose it could be Mela, as they call it Melly. So, being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they s they'll stop picking on her. Although I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people knew, know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Harry. How about we'll le we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. What big event? Hmm. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. Ah, that big event. There we go. It's so Operation Star that stops the bullies from bullying them. And the big boss? What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. Mmm. -hmm. I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. I suppose it does. The Quaxwell of yours really let us have it. It did indeed. Beating me in a battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. I mean, I am proud, thank you. Um, so we go and shake a hand, but apparently a handshake is a bit too strong for us. But that is one down. While I'm at it, you can have this TM2, not like I'm going to use it. It's flame charge. Nice. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Quaxwell. You got what you came for? Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? But who's you supposed to be? Ooh. Jarkadet, wait. Foo foom. Well, if it isn't Carlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. Foo. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. You can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Carlos wanted to visit you? Fufum. Hmm. Fufum. He wants you come to come back to school. Carlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? This A-Team star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of that st of a stupid rumour like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. 
You never used it before, and what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Star for all? No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it is a memory we'll always treasure. Okay. Thank you. Well, looks like we're going to leave these, this base. And rototo to 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 Clebo, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, didn't she? Or she gave it to you, did she? I see. Now there's no boss to lead them. The rest of the, the Sheeda squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP to your phone. As promised. We got 5,000 LP for that. Very nice. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Well, thank you. Ah, oh, look who it is. Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know? The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You received lots of Pokemon materials. You should be able to make tons of TMs with these, and Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck! And with that, we're going to leave it here, so thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and if you liked it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.